Hello, and welcome back to Gamers Can't Cook. Been a while, six years, it's all good. We're making chocolate cake. First step that we have to do. I'm a professional. Uh, to make this chocolate cake, preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, or gas mark four. That to me is 180, which is there. Preheated. Lightly grease and flour with a 25. I should go through what we have first. This cake today, we are going to be using butter, 360 grams. Flour, no, 200 grams of butter. 360 grams of self-raising flour. 600 grams of caster sugar and quite a lot of chocolate powder. We also have baking powder, vanilla extract, choco sprinkles, where are they? Choco sprinkles and bicarbonate of soda with six eggs and icing sugar. I should have set this up better, but I'm running out of time. You might have seen me try and eat the, the chili chocolate. I wanted to, but I didn't like it. So we've got to start off by greasing these tins that are all supposed to be the same size and absolutely none of them are, which is going to be fantastic because life is full of imperfections. So why should food be different? That's what I always say. Literally never said that before in my life, but it sounded kind of good. So when you grease a cake tin, you just have to kind of grease it, you know. Right, so we have floured these tins perfectly as you can see. I don't know what it means by flouring it and greasing it, but I'm completely guessing. And that's how we're gonna do it. Next one wants us to add 600 ml of boiling water. If you're not sure if it's boiling or not. Ah, fuck. We're gonna combine it with the cocoa powder. I need better camera work, but hey. First time, not best time, am I right? That even makes sense. What we're gonna do here is this is such a home video kind of style. I need a new camera, oh well. It's gonna be stirring like that, doesn't that look good? Mmm, oh yeah. Okay, so we stirred it. I'm experimenting with camera angles so I can get better. So it might be a bit all over the place, but it'll be better in the future, because yeah, yes, I'm doing more than this. And you're gonna like it. Well, I'm gonna love this cake. Um, okay, so now we have to leave it to cool, but however long, butter in the sieve. For my next trick, I'm going to be sifting all the flour into this beautiful blue bowl and I'm going to be mixing it with the baking powder, baking soda and the salt. So let's go with the flour, not the sugar. Sift it all in. I am not a teacher, I am just a boy being a stupid boy. Woo, flour! Two teaspoons of powder. This one is a teaspoon of baking powder. How do we open this? There's one. And there's two. Woo! And the half a teaspoon of soda. Just like that. There we go. And last but not least, put the lid on. That would help. There we go. Half a teaspoon of salt. It didn't say which salt, so I'm using table salt. Probably means cooking salt, but it's all salt, isn't it? When you get killed in Fortnite, you're not like, ah, oh, he's salty with Himalayan salts. Ah, oh, damn, he's a sea salty boy. No, you just see he's a cunt and move on with your life. That's a bit hard. Oh dear. Probably out of date, but hey ho, you're not eating it, so why are you judging? Crush it. Crush it with your bare hands. Puny human. Well, that's good enough. Okay, I think I need to mix it a little bit. There we go. Set it aside. How many bowls do you think I have made? I've only got two. So it says I have to cream the butter and sugar. I think that just means whiskey. Come on, wait, come on. Hey, no. Being in a kitchen's hard. So I'm gonna start by adding the butter to the bowl. There we go. Try my best to mush it up a bit. That's all perfect. We can add this tiny bit of sugar. This is over a kilogram of sugar, also known as diabetes. Cream it, let's cream it. I've never been able to make any cream before. Come on. Ugh. Maybe I don't use a whisk, maybe I use my hands. Do I use my hands? Let me know, it's, it's too late, but let, let me know. Oh, butter and sugar, this doesn't feel right. Well, it's getting softer though. It's also spilling all over the side, but hey ho. Small victories, that's what we always say, small victories. Okay, it's turning into a bit of a cream now. And if I get rid of a bit of sugar, hey, better for your teeth. Oh, nah, I feel like, Dirty monster. Ah, my inner child wants to lick my fingers and I have to keep telling myself, no, no, you'll get AIDS. 
I wash my hands. Wash my hands. When you're cooking, you're baking, and you wanna make it, making you got to wash your hands. Two teaspoons of vanilla oh. extract. Where's my teaspoon gone? There it is. Should I use a different one? That'd be alright. One teaspoon. Two teaspoon. I have to beat in one egg at a time. Okay, egg. Egg beating. Something I'm going to quite get a little crack in them anyway. Get ready to watch this, yeah? One. Try and beat it in if we can. Got the entire thing going overboard. Remember to beat it, not whisk it. Uh, you can beat it with a whisk. There we go. That one's beat it in. At least it's like cake thing is going to have lots of protein so you can have huge muscles like me one day yeah but beat it beat it that's right beat it 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 we go we're making progress halfway there with the eggs now number four i've not heard anything from draconic yet in regards to that chili challenge i'm hoping i will soon because, and actually if I don't hear from him, I don't have to pay him £100, so it's alright, but hey, I didn't beat that one properly. No, I'll do it now. And let's do the last two together, because, you know, the more the merrier. Woo! A shell on the finger, there we go. Beat it, yes, beat them eggs. Beat them eggs like a couple of pegs, woo! Okay, I'd say that is pretty well beat. So I'm meant to add the flour to this, but I'm going to add the flour. I'm going to add this to the flour. Because I'm smart. Really should have read the recipe before I started doing this, but you know what? It's all good. Add it all. Oh, this feels super nice. Uh, there's only a little bit of sugar stuck to the bottom. That's right. I mean, most of it wasn't even in the bowl at the end of that, but hey oh. Hey, now what do I do? Do I beat it? Do I whisk it? Do I stir it? Do I love it? Do I kiss it? Do I shag it? What? Add it all and gently mix it. Okay. So it's important when you whisk it or when you stir it that you always go in a anti clockwise motion. Otherwise it will evaporate into something. There we go. Okay, smash that. And now I need to fold in the cooled cocoa. But I'm gonna add this into the cooled cocoa because I did all the bowls the wrong way around. I don't know if the cocoa's cooled, but I hope it is because I'm, I don't feel like waiting. It does look good. Look at that, oh. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a lot of flour still mixed in that. Oh no, oops. I guess it's all going in now. Whee! Woo! Epic! Okay, I'm getting kind of nervous now because I'm normally a lot better at baking than this. I'm not scared of being judged, it's just I'm not gonna make a huge cake and then it tastes like shit. <laughs> now it wants me to evenly spread the mixture into the tubs. I'm not good at this. But hey, it's all part of it. This is hard, especially with one eye. I'd say that looks awesome. Ignore the white lumps. I think that's normal. Now let's put it in there. Now that doughs are in the oven, it's time for us to make the buttercream. The fun bit. The first step it says that it wants us to do. Melt the chocolate over a bain-marie. Now what the fuck is a bain-marie? I'm doing it the traditional way of where you have a frying pan and a bowl. And hopefully the bowl doesn't break. I think what we do is we get boiling water, we pour it in a frying pan, a saucepan, sorry, not too much, and then we put a ball on top, and then we have the chocolate. Now it says it wants 200 grams, so I've got about 80 left of the instant regret chili chocolate, and I'll do the rest with normal dark chocolate. I don't know how this is gonna work, but oh, oh no, this is either gonna be the best idea ever, or it's gonna be horrible. Or both. So I'm gonna add about half of this one. I don't think you have the gas on, but I might turn it on if it doesn't start melting. I've never done anything quite like this before. I normally cook rather than bake, but it's all about stepping out your comfort zone. That's actually not that bad for the chili chocolate. I might try another piece. No, I should. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Bollocks! Um, to tidy up, tidy up, tidy up, time to tidy up and put your things away. That did not sound good. I might get blown up. Oh, it stinks of gas, dude. My house is filling with gas really quick. Oh, don't want to die in a gas explosion. But there's anyway, this would be a really shit gas explosion to be in. Not that it's a good one, but you know what I mean. All right, so, I'm alive. Hopefully you can see me. I've basically just 
creamed butter and sugar again. Still don't really know what cream means, but I think I did it. And the chocolate comes coming along pretty good I'd say. So I've just brought you back as we're about to combine the two because this could never ever go wrong. Positivity, good attitude, let's go. I thought about titling this video Gamers Can Cook just to see if anyone got the reference but I mean it just goes to show even though I'm not a gamer no more I still can't cook on camera. I promise I can cook normally it's just I can smell the chili and I dislike it. So do I have to mix them together or do I just oh I can smell the I don't know if that's a cake burning or if it's actual the chilli. Oh god. Okay, I have to beat it now until it's combined. Got a fork this time. So if any of you are Gordon Ramsay's or anything out there, give us some stuff to do. Because I, I love baking and cooking and you're only going to get better. So we're going to see how this turned out. It could be an awesome surprise because even though it might look awesome now, you've got to learn to trust the journey. No matter what it looks like, if you get on a train to go north and it starts going south, don't get up and throw a fit, just trust that you end up north. You know, it might take a while, but you'll end up there eventually. That fucking burns. Holy fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, it's bearable heat, but oh my. This could actually be good, you know, if I added less of the chilli chocolate. See what I mean? Get high hopes. That, to me, looks like a good fucking chocolate buttercream. Now I have to add the vanilla extract and the milk to make it a bit thinner. Let's add two more teaspoons of vanilla extract. Those cakes aren't looking too bad actually, you know, considering. Oh, there's one in a bit. And then there's a bit. There we go. Might need a bit extra milk considering, you know, there's, there's fucking chilli in it. Oh, this looks so good. It doesn't taste as good, but because it's spicy. Oh, it's awesome. I am meant to be mixing it in, aren't I? Okay, so it's combined and soft and spreadable. Oh, I say this is spreadable, all right? Oh, more spreadable than anything I've been near in years. Check that out. Oh, my goodness. It's really good, but it's <coughs> fucking spicy. Damn, oh, oh no, that's so hot. That is so... <sighs> oh, big man, big man. Oh. Doesn't hurt, doesn't hurt. The cakes have 15 minutes left, so I'm gonna catch you oh, when that's ready. So they're out of the oven, and they don't look, you know, if these were like white chocolate chip cakes, that would look pretty good. But since they're not, I'm not too sure what all these white bits are. And it kind of burnt the bottom of the oven a tiny, tiny bit. But hey, what it wants us to do is to cut the top of these cakes off so they're all flat. But first we have to get them out of these tins. It doesn't smell too burnt, so it shouldn't be too bad. There we go, that one's done. I was gonna use my hands there, that would be, you know, smart. How about a knife? I'll see what happens the two. Shit. I mean, it tastes okay. It tastes like things aren't mixed in properly. <laughs> so we're gonna pour some on, and we're gonna spread it about as best we can without destroying the cake too much. Oh, I probably should have waited for it to cool first, it's all melting. Oh well, we're, we're this far deep in now. We've got a cake that's cooked and the flour's not still not even mixed in, so a bit of melted icing won't be too bad, I'm sure. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Let's go! Woo! Should probably let it cool first before I do the rest. I'm not sure about this angle. I'm resting you on the toaster. The final step, now that the cake is cooled down. And by the way, I'm kind of upset because I've had some of this cake and it is really nice. But now we have to uh, cover it in this, in this shit. It's weird, this, this looks horrible and tastes nice. This looks nice and tastes, oh wow. It wants to be flat at the top, but I'm making it round so it looks a bit more unnatural, you feel me? Here we go, look at it, there we go. It's not completely mounting on top now. Slightly, yeah, completely, no. Can't believe I'm ruining such a good cake. Hey, it might, you know, there's a lot of stuff in the cake, whereas in the frosting, oh dear. In the frosting, it's mainly chilly, so it might not be unbearable. You never know. Blip, blip. Just put it all on top and start going down the sides. It'll hide all the white bits so other people eat it as well. Lovely. Pick yourself up and get back on the cake, you bitch. Why am I complaining when the frosting falls off? It's a good thing. <laughs> what have I done? I have made a masterpiece, that's what I've done. Not only have I made an awesome cake, I've made an awesome video. That is how we do this. Oh shit, that's on the floor. Please don't eat that dog, it's chilli and chocolate. It's double bad. I keep going to lick it when I get on my yummy. And I'm like, no, that would be... 
I'm leaving one side uncovered just because it's hanging over and it'll be a lot of cleaning, which I don't feel like doing. <laughs> Because I've been tidying up the kitchen for the past half an hour already. Finally starting to get close to being finished. There we go. Now for decorations. Woo! That is the final look. Uncovered side there. Covered the rest of the way around. Woo! Woo! That was epic. See you in a bit. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks. Don't mind me. I'ma just grab my stuff and leave.